Inventory is lifeblood of every wholesale, distributor or manufacturer. It is essentially money sitting in the form of a product you are selling. Inventory comp comprises an important part of the current asset, particularly in the manufacturing industry. A lot of cash flow is committed to inventories so as to ensure a smooth flow of production to meet a demanding customer service level. However, maintaining inventory also involves holding or carrying costs along with opportunity costs. Therefore, identifying inventory reduction strategies or inventory optimizations become critical for every supply chain and operations professionals. Inventory optimization is a time-consuming task, right? So I remember our days as a planner when every three months I had to download data from ERP system, then put into a structured Excel file and identify excess and obsolete, recalculate safety stock, identify made to stock and made to order and the whole, do the whole ABC analysis. Right? It used to take me three to five years of dedicated effort. To help SEM user community, we have developed an inventory optimization tool in Excel, which will do all of that in minutes rather than, or in fact hours rather than days. The inventory optimization tool will help act as a decision support system and help you to calculate safety stock, both in terms of quantity and value, along with the inventory turns and days on hand as a KPIs. Tool will suggest the coverage of months available, for example, zero to three months, three to six, excess or obsolete. It will assist you to decide if the SKU should be made to stock or made to order based on the decision model we have built in, in as a logic. It will also tell you how many SKUs you have are basically usable, how many access, how many obsolete as a material. It will also tell you ABC analysis, all of that in one simple Excel ex export in ARP. The tool is easy to run, right? You can follow the instruction in the following section of the video or what we have done, we created a full PowerPoint training video. So when you can get the purchase, you, it will tell you how to use the full Excel model, right? So you have a full Excel presentation to basically uh, to work on, follow the instruction or follow the video as well, right? So I would strongly recommend to use this Excel tool. It will work with any ERP system. I have given the link below which you can use, uh, which where you can find the tool. I uh, hope you like it and we bring more and more tools for you to basically make your job easier and you will look basically great in terms of your boss. Save time which you can use to do some more custom stuff, right? So now follow the video to see uh, the tutorial, uh, how, to use the X, uh, how to use the Excel model. Hope you like it and we will bring you more tools. Ciao. As you open model template, main file, please click on tab named homepage to access automated tool. This is main tab to be accessed by users of this tool. Home page contains steps from 1 to 5 to have successful output of inventory segmentation and analysis performed based on inputs provided. Very first step in 5-step process is to define input parameters for performing inventory analysis. Please click on first tab named Define Input Parameters and model will route you to Input Parameter Settings tab which holds different inputs to be set by user as per requirement. The heading is Input Parameter Selection and it is important to note that only blue highlighted fields to be updated as an input to model to perform analysis. Note. Please do not change format, replace cells or delete any row or column in order to have error-free output. First input to be provided is buckets threshold limits for classifying each material under ABC classification which is based on total consumption of last 12 months including all material. In other words this is nothing but identifying fast movers and slow movers articles in terms of assigning importance from inventory valuation standpoint. In this ABC input table, you can define percent level up to slash for which you would like assign mentioned category. So here in this example you wish to classify your inventory based on consumption value like A items as 70% of total consumption value followed by next 20% as B and rest 10% as C items. Make sure to check total of all three is 100%. It should not be less or more than 100%. For now we are setting A as 85% of total consumption value then B as 10% and remaining 5% of items as C class items and here total is 100%.
Next input to be provided is to define limits for XYZ classification which is based on coefficient of variation based on demand variability to determine the demand pattern such as X stands for less variable i.e. highly predictable pattern then Y is intermittent demand pattern and Z is erratic demand pattern which becomes less predictable. To define XYZ limits, please start with defining upper limit for X items. Here in this case 0.5 cov means anything ranging from 0 to 0.5 will be classified as X item and for Z, 1 as an input means any material having coefficient of variation greater than 1 classified as Z. In between of 0.54 for X and 1 for Z will be classified as Y so in this case any item having cov between 0.5 to 1 is classified as Y. Third input is to define definition for excess items, here in this case you need to define the threshold in term of months of coverage of stock. For for example let's define it as 5 means any item having current stock on hand which will last for more than 5 months of demand based on consumption. You can define the excess stock criteria as you wish. Let's rest it to 6 where any stock covering beyond 6 months will be classified as excess item and for obsolete, no mover, items are nothing but items having stock on hand but no consumption during last 12 months. Next and fourth input is to define Z score based on service level that you would like to maintain for stock items to serve the customers. Z score is nothing but how many standard deviation from mean. Below table is for reference where you can find the Z score value with respect to service level mentioned on left. Let's per se, you wish to maintain service level of 99% to customers in future then Z score applicable will be 2.38 and you can update Z score accordingly then tool will consider 2.38 as a factor to calculate the future safety stock levels. Let's reset it to 1.28 which shall represent the service level of 90% to customers. Fifth input is to define exchange rate to USD with respect to local currency considered in input data set. In this case input currency is USD hence US dollar to US dollar exchange rate is updated as 1. Sixth and final input as parameter to be defined is nothing but defining limits for different attributes mentioned, number of customer, number of total order lines, replenishment lead time in months and order frequency in a year, which will work in combination of ABC and XYZ to define future stocking position as proposal. For example in one first line for A and X combination of materials, any material having greater than 50 customer plus greater than 100 total order lines in a year plus replenishment lead time greater than 1 month and order frequency greater than 10, for example min for 10 months out of last 12, order was shipped, will be classified as stock item otherwise non-stock. For stock model will automatically calculate safety stock levels and compare to current stocking position to determine the impact, positive or negative in terms of inventory value. In same way, you can define attribute limits for all rest of the combinations like AY, AZ, BX, BY, BZ, CX, CY, CZ. You can define and change all those parameters as many times as you wish and rerun analysis to simulate different scenarios. Note, to exclude conditions of no of customer less than order lines and frequency, please maintain one as a min value allowing tool to run and consider minimum no to propose stocking policy. Once all input parameters are defined please make sure to save the file and then click on tab back to home to access home page again to continue process. The second step in five step analysis is to upload input file which is available with this under package and needs to be updated in given format which holds certain master data, inventory 7 consumption details for next 12 months. Before you upload input file, let's quickly walk through the data points needed in input template. Make sure to update input file updated, saved and closed to upload in model. Input file holds data from column A to W as follows. Column A, material slash items no. Column B, material slash item description. Column C and D, optional data to input group and subgrouping of materials. Column E to P, consumption data in terms of QT. UOM, for last 12 months. Column Q, standard price slash average price of a material in local currency. 
Note, if input currency is other than is other than USD then ensure to maintain the exchange rate in input parameter selection tab as discussed earlier. Column R, total replenishment lead time in working days. Column S, discontinued items, please mention as discontinued if material is under decline phase or phase out then toll will consider such articles for make to order environment by default. Column T, current safety stock in units. PLS maintain zero in case of no safety stock. Column U, current inventory on hand, units. Column V, number of customer, total count of customer behind each material. Column W, number of order line, total number of order lines received or shipped during last 12 months. Once the file is updated, ensure save input template and close file. Note. Do not change format of cells or remove slash add columns or change headers name slash sequence. Next step is to upload input file into model. To do so please click on upload input tab. Once clicked, program will clear existing analysis and prompt for input file. You can click on OK and browse input file to upload. Please select file and allow program to run whole analysis. It will take another 5 to 10 seconds to complete mapping. Upon successful run you will be routed to home page tab automatically. This ensures run is successful and you can proceed. Next and third step in automated process is to refresh ABC, XYZ analysis. In order to do so, click on tab refresh ABC and XYZ and then program will refresh ABC and XYZ analysis and update in model. Then fourth step is to review data where you can refer to data tab and go through all model database. Inputs. Calculated. Fields. Logics, to ensure there are no errors in model database. Click on tab review data where you will be redirected to tab data where all data sets are available. All columns highlighted in light blue color are inputs picked directly from input file and all dark blue highlighted columns are calculated fields. As per logics put in and as per input parameters defined during step 1. Check for data set for any error in calculated fields and to ensure all items are covered as per input file provided. Once review done, click on tab back to home tab on upper left corner to access home page tab again. Last step is to access output summary slash dashboard. Please click on tab named dashboard and then you will be routed to output summary. Then click on tab refresh dashboard to reflect the recent changes and upon successful refresh system will show a notification that dashboard refreshed successfully. Upper strip contains name of dashboard and five major scorecard as follows. Total cost of goods sold. Current inventory on had. Plan safety stock value. Inventory turns. Days on hand. Then next two graphs in middle shows current on hand inventory, in dollar value and percent to total, grouped in coverage of months of stock available. 0 to 3 months. 3 to 6 months. 6 to 12 months. 12 to 18 months. Greater than 18 months obsolete. Then towards right in middle shows inventory optimization proposal in table format where you can find number of materials, current safety stock and proposed safety stock with respect to stock to non-stock, MTS, and, non-stock, to stock while redefining safety stock levels for stock to stock items. Then bottom strip of dashboard shows current on hand inventory profile in terms of value, percent and count of materials for a usable inventory. B excess inventory. C obsolete inventory. That's all. Save the file for reference and you can print the output as well. Click on back to home button to access home tab again. In this way, you can run tool as many time as you wish with change in input parameters to simulate the output with different set of conditions incorporated through input parameter settings. So if you like this video, don't forget to like. Share, subscribe and leave your comments below.